Successful Creek Day. Oh man, your guys' volcano was epic. Just epic. Let me do that again. Good morning, buddy. You got your Cheerios? You got your Cheerios? <laughs> All right, how's everyone doing? Good morning. All right, active rest today. We're letting true love sleep in. You know, as mamas out there, all the mamas out there, you don't really sleep in with little kids. So uh, Papa is attempting to wake up with some coffee and we're going to go get out of the house so true love can just sleep as long as possible. So that is uh, the goal for this morning. And yes, active rest. You know, keeping the legs moving and keeping walking that line as far as balance between staying off your feet and making sure your legs are ready to rock and roll for the next big workout. So I'll get to that topic here in a little bit, but right now it's pancake time. Let's do this. I'm not really a chef or anything like that or a cook, but I think I can make pancakes. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. Creek adventure. Boys, how are the pancakes? Are they tasty? What are we letting mama do? Sleep in. Sleep in. That's right. A little uh, active recovery. Who knows? Maybe I can ice bath in the creek. Gotta work up my uh, adaptation. Remember that discussion? A little adaptation to the cold water. Hopefully, the water's not too cold, right? Yeah. But it is already 80 degrees and it's only 8 a.m. So I think we should be good. Whoa! What do you think, buddy? Ooh, water's cold. Ooh. Guys, what do you think? Is this perfect? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, and there's water. Oh my gosh, you you discovered water. Whoa, so cool. Okay, I'm gonna let him sit right here. Oh. All right, it's a little windy out. Not sure if you could hear me just getting back from my run and a quick trip to the gym. And yes, I haven't been as consistent as I would like to be in the gym. So I need to work on that. I need to buckle down a little bit for stretching, uh, balance work, hand-eye coordination, and, yeah, and yes, strength work as well. But it's those little actions that I need to, need to stay on top of. So, okay. What I'm about to do is the one-legged hopping up this hill in my backyard. Uh, use what you have, right? And this is a little outside of what I would typically do on an active rest day, but time is of the essence, you know? It's like five, eh, six weeks until the race. And uh, so my legs, obviously, they feel great, very fresh, considering how much time I had to take off because of the foot injury. So anyway, I wanna seize the day, use this hill in the backyard to work on Again, hand-eye coordination and suppleness. All right, this is gonna feel good. Here we go. It's just the one-legged, one-legged. We're gonna start with the right leg, my strong leg. You see, see my strong leg there? Just boom, 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 up the hill. 
and back down. I wish this hill was a little longer actually. And then here goes my left leg. So not nearly as powerful. Oh my gosh, it's crazy actually. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so that just, I don't know if you could see the difference there, but that just shows you how much work I have to do with my, uh, <laughs> that was actually a little sad. Uh, so I need to really, really hone in on this left leg, not just the strengthening and the, and the explosive jumping, but the stretching and making sure it's nimble and it can do the motions that I want it to do going up these steep mountains. So, all right. We So that wasn't very pretty. I'm just a little, I gotta be careful as well, but just gotta stay consistent. Stay consistent with it. So, all right, let's fire up that grill. Now it's time to rest. If it's handy, yeah. Yeah, Siri, uh, yeah, the colorful ones. art form. This is art right here. Make it art. And here we go. How's everyone doing? How was your weekend? That's not the question of the day, but I hope you had a great weekend. Crazy, it's Monday. Away we go once again, and the grilling session was awesome, uh, but I'm realizing I'm not the best at vlogging and grilling at the same form. time, meaning I'm so focused on making sure that meat is just perfect that I often forget to pick up the camera and film all the cinematic shots that I want to. So anyway, didn't get all the shots I wanted, but it still was a delicious dinner nonetheless. Okay, just so everyone knows, all the new subscribers, I always place the shoes that I ran in that day right here to my right. Uh, just so you know that, okay, and today, I did not run in the Peg 35s. These are the, these are the Peg 35s. The Peg 36s are inside in Michael's room and he's asleep and there's no way I'm uh, waking him up after a huge adventure day with his big brother. So therefore, that's why those are sitting there. And yes, today I did six miles or 10 kilometers, nine minute pace. And so my approach to active recovery is yes, if you've been watching a long time, you know how much I love nine minutes per mile on my easy or recovery days. And oftentimes I will only go three or four miles on my easy days just to completely hit the reset button and make sure my legs are as recovered as possible to come back for the next hard effort, whether it's a long run, whether it's an interval day, whether it's a mountain day like tomorrow. So anyway, that's my approach. And some people run faster on their easy days. Some people run a little slower and uh, you just gotta find the pace that really makes sure that you hit that reset button. And okay, jumping into today's brief topic, I'm not gonna talk long tonight, I promise. Basically, active recovery. Uh, today, uh, okay, so when I get above 80 miles a week, so this week I was able to hit uh, 70 miles for the week. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to convert to kilometers. Sorry, I'm just a little too tired right now. But I hit 70 miles this week. Uh, next week I'm going to hit 80, which I know. Remember we talked about being I'm being a little aggressive right now, okay? And I, I, I realize that, but I'm monitoring how everything is feeling, and I just know the steps that I need to take in order to hit the goals that I want to hit for the Pikes Peak Ascent, okay? So that's why I'm ascending pretty quickly in my volume and my vertical gain every week. All right, so when I get above 80 miles in a week, that is when I really have to pay attention to active recovery, meaning walking the line, so making sure, so after the creek today with the boys, we were out there for two and a half hours. I couldn't believe it, like it went by like that. And after I got home, I just told True Love, like I gotta lay down, meaning I just, I just laid on the couch, the boys were jumping on me. I just laid there. I didn't care what was going on around me. I just laid there. I knew that I needed to get off my feet and just rest. For And sure enough, it was an hour, and I felt completely reset after that hour. So, but then this afternoon, we were doing some yard work. We were picking up the house for the guests to come over. So I was still moving. I went to the gym, did some very, very light leg work in the gym. Again, no, no weight bearing. So no weights, no squatting, no uh, deadlifts, nothing like that. Just uh, body weight, some calf raises. Uh, what else did I do? Some core work, just some really basic stretching, of course, just some really basic recovery exercises again 
I have found if I don't move, and I don't mean work, I just say move, just moving around, chasing the kids, or do, or maybe if in your case, who knows, maybe it's just it's pushing a lawnmower, which is actually a lot of work. Um, for me, that helps so much to have active recovery in my schedule the day after a long run or the day after a interval day, okay, or a big, big mountain day like I'm gonna do tomorrow. So on Tuesday, uh, tomorrow for you when you're watching this, I know that I'm gonna need to stay active while still making sure, paying attention to rest. And again, I wish I had more time to explain my thesis, but it's just, it's walking that line between uh, staying off your feet and getting the legs moving, getting the blood flowing, getting the stretching going so that you're not over sore, uh, too sore the next day or too tired, or, or a better word is lethargic, okay? Where your legs just feel like, ugh. Like, like it's because for me, in my case, I, when I feel lethargic, it means usually the day before I was just sitting around maybe a little too much, which doesn't happen too often these days with life and the boys and everything. So anyway, that's just a real brief thought process. I'm kind of riffing with you. I, I don't know if that was coherent, but that's my approach to active recovery days uh, after a hard effort like I did, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. So, all right, keyword active keyword active question of the day what is your little gold nugget that you can give to us for tips and tricks for active recovery uh, or maybe just recovery in general and i know we've touched on this topic before but maybe not quite approaching it in this exact way um so if you could chime in down below in the comments i'd appreciate it and that is it for today i know i went on a little bit there but trying to keep it close uh, trying to keep it short because guess what i got a pack for a big mountain day tomorrow. And in conclusion, for everyone new, just so you know, this is definitely a running YouTube channel, daily vlog, crazy epicness, but I also film life as well. And that was today with my three boys, with grilling, just like sharing life with you. So anyway, I love doing both. Um, obviously we love talking running here, but I love striking that balance sometimes as well. So that's what you saw today. Thanks for tuning in and watching it. And I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Live stream, Wednesday night, live stream, mark your calendars. See you tomorrow.